Especially for the guys who've been of the film, exceeding my ideas of what the studio really like is the type vision. From my user feedback, I hit the streets and show people my trailer. A lot of the feedback I got back was pretty terrible. Like, really great movie, the guy with the tattoos is really hot. But I did get some constructive feedback. Here's what I got. Do we have to use him? His family. It's a fucking liability. How much? My favourite part is the end with the character with the tattoos. I really like the way that it draws you in after the middle of the trailer. Because he's portrayed as a liability. And it ties in nicely and makes you want to watch the film and you don't know if he's going to let them down or not. It's a great way to make you watch the film. This comment pleases me due to the fact that that's exactly what I was going for. To end it with an if, what's going to happen, I, I really want to know what's going to happen. That That's what I wanted and it's nice that people can see that. It's a new life for me. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. It's a new life for me. I like the beginning of the film with the tea making sequence. I really like it because it's quite like the Shaun of the Dead type film, like with the editing. It just, it just makes me want to watch the film a bit more. It's just really good. This car makes me really happy because um, I was actually trying to go for a Shaun of the Dead esque style um, of editing. And the fact that someone's hit it on the nails really made me happy. Now he's the king. The special effects used within the trailer are very impressive exceeding my ideas of what a student film could obtain visually. The muzzle flash he used in the end scene was one of my favourites, as it reacted to the surroundings. I'd very much like to see this film created. I love that someone's noticed the muzzle flash. I wasn't sure if people would notice it, but it gives an overall feel that it's more realistic. I spent a lot of time um, editing this part of the film, but I felt that it was worthwhile. It was always, it's always a bit iffy to add in some special effects like gunshots and things, but I think I pulled it off well enough and obviously so did other people. Here's a comment that I failed to record. I enjoyed the trailer, but I felt they needed more shots of action. This may just be me, but I really enjoyed the ending with the gunshots and would have liked to see a shootout or fight of some sort. So I would not see this film as my first choice at a cinema. This does mildly upset me, but... Um, it's not the end of the world. I don't want to watch every film that's in the cinema. Obviously, no, neither did anyone else. No one loves every film. It's just a shame that some people didn't enjoy the trailer. But hey, every now and again you get a bad comment. you got to live with it. From the beginning of the year, I was already familiar with Photoshop, Premiere and After Effects uh, through AS and personal use. But during the creation of my trailer, I've learnt so much more through experimenting and the help of tutorials. Premiere has always been pretty standard for me. I prefer to shy away from it until the last moment because its power is in superior to After Effects. So its only real role in the creation of my film was putting the clips in order and shuffling them as I played around with them. In After Effects you change the colour, the colour boost, the levels, the lighting effects, artificial lighting, saturation, really really easily, unlike in Premiere where you can do some of these things but it's quite difficult. After Effects is just far more powerful. My After Effects skills improved massively over the course of creating my trailer. The main skill I've developed is the ability to control light and colour. This gave the trailer a far more cinematic effect. With the use of some professional cameras and some large lights, I believe I could have reached cinematic quality with the skills that I've developed. Another reason I love After Effects so much is that it allows me to appear in my own movie. I was able to set up a tripod, film my parts and also the parts including me and others, which by adding us simple slow random camera shake on a low setting I was able to make the film flow beautifully. It also gives you the wonderful ability to pan shots with ease just using keyframing. I also developed the skill to create gunshots. This took a while of playing around and um, working with the light but I think it was worth it as the effects were brilliant and I'm sure with practice they can only get better. I used Photoshop to my advantage in most aspects of creating of my work this year. Both my poster and my magazine cover were created in Photoshop and also the muzzle flash that's shown in my trailer is a powerful tool that I've become fluent in over the years of playing and freelance work. Bloggers played an ever important role in the recording of my trailer. I feel I didn't blog as much as I could and that is a skill that I must get into the habit of doing when creating future projects because it does let you know how you've come along. I feel that my blog does show how I've developed forward over the several months of creating my trailer. This year I used my own camera which was great. Being able to film wherever and whenever I could was a massive bonus and having bought my own tripod the year before, I was fully independent while shooting my film. I feel my ancillary tasks complemented my trailer very well. 
I feel the bold yet very simple characters featured on the poster can connote mystery and class with the face of silhouettes and suits. I feel people would be enticed into watching the film from the reviews at the bottom which would make people more inclined to watch it and also the star's names at the top. The magazine front cover took two attempts. One attempt which is horrible as I didn't have a photograph of Lewis who plays the other main character. I used a sub character. The colours were disgusting, the layout was poor, the whole thing was a shambles, so making a new one was a must. After having made the new one, I feel that it complements the movie well. The magazine front cover is aimed at people who are interested in what which young people are going to be up and coming film, TV, music video producers and directors. I've used stills from the trailer, this is a common convention in film magazines, and I've done the titles for the film in the same colour as that as in the trailer. My film uses conventions of a trailer in that it shows some of the good bits of the film, saving the better bits towards the end of the trailer, but not revealing the best bits of the movie, but giving you a small hint of them. Another massive convention for trailers is having a sleek title sequence. I feel that I've smashed that target with mine, with the pills popping out of the floor and changing into text is cinematic trailer worthy. Thriller films conventionally start slow, get faster, slow again, before an explosive ending. I feel that I've achieved this with the team making sequence being slow but 